Uh, I, mean, I, don't, so, I don't think there's any uh, fear of that on Mars, though. Well, there's that's. I think the fear is the right word, or a, a concern, maybe, is the thing. My fear or anxiety or taxpayer arms akimboticness is if you send people, you're going to contaminate it. You're going to make a mess. And then will you be able to determine, distinguish between what may have grown the leopard spot patterns or what humans brought by accident? Mm -hmm. And this is not rocket surgery. This is obvious to me. Dirty little secret. Every uh, astronaut spacesuit leaks. It's constantly leaking little bits. And, you know, we're just these walking bags of bacteria and viruses, yes. right? And so it's just we're walking around on Mars. You, you're just like shooting off little viruses and bacteria just in this air around you. It's functionally impossible to do what's called planetary protection, this idea that you have to not infuse another planet with your own biome. And as humans, you know, so when we send robots, we bake them at 500 degrees, you know, for three weeks to kind of kill everything or cover kind them of, with acid. Kind of, sort of kill yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, and, but with, you can't bake an astronaut at 500 degrees to Although make them. Although there's a well, few, I wouldn't know. I guess if you, you could, do, they are delicious. They, they're a lot, <laughs> they're a lot less effective on. as an astronaut. Whoa, that's, <laughs> true. that's getting a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. So anyway, this argument that's the is that's clear. Uh, on To Star Talk audience, I can make this argument that you can't send people, will contaminate, you won't be able to distinguish, distinguish what you were looking for from what you brought by accident. Yeah. Well, there's, but, yeah, there's a number of reasons you can't have people necessarily do it 